Hey there, Josh Bludgey with Elearn Brothers here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your own custom fonts in Lector Online Projects. Defining custom fonts in your project allows you to ensure that the fonts you use within your project will properly display in your user's browser, regardless of whether the font is locally installed. To define fonts from a font library, insert an HTML extension object at the project level and name it Additional Fonts. Be sure to match this text exactly, capitalization and all. To make sure it's easier, I'll put text you can copy and paste in the description below. In the Properties tab for the HTML extension, specify the type as Meta Tags. Open a web browser and go to the font library. For example, fonts.google.com. You'll find a full list of supported font libraries in the description below. Each font library will have different steps to follow to access the information needed to link the font. Follow the on-screen instructions for your chosen font library. With this Google example, click the corresponding add button, then copy and paste the standard link string into the HTML extension. Back in Lector Online, click Edit on the Properties tab of your HTML extension object. In the Editor window, paste the link as the definition of the font. When you're done copying any additional fonts, click Save and Close. Now manually save and reload the project. When you reload the project, it will show the new fonts in use. To define a custom font using a font file, insert an HTML extension object at the project level and name it Additional Fonts. Again, be sure to match this text exactly. In the Properties tab for the HTML extension, specify the type as Meta Tags. Next, specify the definition for the font. This defines the font to the browser for users that may not have the font currently installed. To specify the definition, click Edit. In the Editor window, specify the following You'll find this template in the description below. Within this definition, font family is the name of the font family, and font name.ext is the font file. For example, when you have finished, click Save and Close. To associate the corresponding font file, click Additional Files. Click Add File and browse to add the font file to the project. Now manually save and reload the project. Now the project will show the new fonts in use. And that's the basics of defining custom fonts in your Lector Online project. Go ahead and try it for yourself. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us in the Elon Brothers Rockstars community.